Should I try red? These are like decent red cards. There might be too much incidental life gain in this format <clears throat> for red to be great. Prismatic Lens is like a very vanilla pack one pick one. Like it's always going to get played, whatever you end up. Usually this, my, I'm like disappointed with my straight aggro decks. But I also kind of want to try it out. Try Thraben Inspector. I think Treatment Inspector is just like miles over these other red cards, so maybe I'll go Boros. Exactly, Invisible Kid, exactly. If I had to make an opinion based on the small sample size, do I think it's worth it to unban Twin? Um, so I, th I thought Twin was going to do a little worse based on the disruption in 8 cards that are available now. And I also thought the pairing with Ragavan was toxic. I did not enjoy that. Even a little bit. Like not being able to burn my... Um, my pitch card to kill a turn one Ragavan, because then I won't have it to kill a twin. Or the Ragavan making enough mana that the twin player can like combo out on turn three or four like with counter magic up. Basically just like giving extra turns. And then dashing in, also like taxing your, your instant speed removal. I'm pretty glad they're not they're not both around at the same time. So we could take the Boros Garrison, but I think I want the heroic reinforcements. I don't think the Boros Garrison's gonna wheel, which is unfortunate. But I think this is like pretty important to what I'm doing, huh? If I'm doing this Boros Aggro thing. Then we can grab Helix here. Love it. Has there been any official talk about banning Ragavan? Official? Like like Wizards? No, nobody from Wizards has been like, yo, we're watching this fucking million dollar new mythic. <laughs> Daxos is decent. I'm gonna take Instigate Aim. There's actually been more discussion of banning Ragavan in Legacy than there has been. If, and you're, if you're talking about like community discussion, community roundtables, and weighing in on the experts and stuff, part of it is that um, I mean Ragavan sees almost as much play in Modern, not quite as much, but almost as much play. But it sees it in like a few different archetypes. Whereas in Legacy, there's like a core of Modern Horizon 2 cards making up a blue red deck. And so it's seeing more play in Legacy, but it's like almost all one fucking deck, which is the crazy part. Because Legacy is usually a lot more diverse than that. So Goblin War Party plays into a token production deck really well. I'm gonna take this Trooper though. Probably not a lot of shadow blockers, huh? I like this Relief Captain card. I think we're gonna take the Marshall, though. Keep on going with this token-y sub-theme. Ooh, are we playing Intangible Virtue? Is that what this deck is? Now I regret taking the Trooper over the, the Goblin Creator, but oh well. The Black Chief, that'd be a nice wheel. Yeah, I agree. I agree. How does support work? It like puts 1-1 counters on things. That's all I got for you.
Yeah, my pro one of my problems with it is it really like Ragavan in particular plays into the the play draw issue. A lot of people seem to agree that like being on the play is better now than it was like f even five years ago. That it's like more punishing to lose your die roll now than it used to be. And Ragavan is a card that's just like a billion times better on the play, right? <laughs> so it's like exacerbating that issue. That's where, like, a part of my dislike of that card is. Hey, thanks, Big Kid Boom. Thanks for the kind words. But yeah... I definitely, I definitely sympathize with the point that like Ragavan wouldn't oh, be crushing so hard in Legacy if it also didn't have that core of <laughs> other cards. Like Blue Red not even playing Delver anymore, right? Cool, the Garrison Wield. The Bushwhacker looks better now than it did the first time around. But I think I still want the Garrison, I still want the Fixing. Yeah, I've got a gym. I've got a job for you, Rimrock Knight. You could call it a. Uh, you could call it a. <laughs> you could call it a rock job. I know that's not right. Put a one-one counter on each of up to three other target creatures. So we can't put a one-one counter on itself. This is like spreading some power around. Oh, there's actual flag bears in here. I want to draft that card just because it's so fucking obnoxious. Shieldbreaker's sweet in the format with talismans, and then uh, Pegasus is dope. I'm gonna take the sh Shieldbreaker. I have an answer to opposing equipment and stuff. Commons and uncommons, yeah. Ooh, I think I want that Cavalier. Clarion Spear would be really good too. Clarion Spear spits out tokens for the intangible virtue. That's real nice. I think this card just like fits our curve really well though. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have taken the white two drop and expected the Cavalier to wheel. Just like we got like the Boros Garrison super late. Yeah, that would've been better. Shrine is awesome here. If I'm looking to play this Virtue. Heal Cutter, Skill Guard, and Law Keeper are all great. I kind of want to take the Law Keeper just to keep my curve low, but I should probably take the Heal Cutter. Mono Green Trophy. Yeah, right, Dying Imp? I agree. That's a good way to put it. Oh, that's Procession. Even if we're casting this card for four mana, even if it's not a three drop here, it's still great. It's still great with like the Virtue and stuff. Yeah, we've been listening to Approaching Nirvana all night. Huge, huge shout out to them. Great pair of artists. Maybe it's just one artist. Mm. My brain's the worst. 
Regardless. Fucking awesome. So Seeker is Dece. I kind of like this Splicer skill, even if I'm just like casting this to make a Golem. The song, the song name is also scrolling beneath my face here. In the pocket of Big Indie. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to think of like the the labels and bands that have sent me stuff. Heavy Psych Sounds sent me a gift thing with like some T-shirts and a bunch of records. That was like pretty fucking awesome. But I also gave Heavy Psych, Psych Sounds like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So, so I think they're still they're still like up on me there. The, um... Uh, mm, the Caravan Palace thing almost felt like sponsorship. Where they actually, like, sent me some vinyl. Yeah, I don't think we have quite enough one drops for this Clarion Spirit to really pop off, but I'm still gonna play it. It's still good here. But yeah, approaching Nirvana um, is a band where I. I Sub to their Patreon. I'm certainly, certainly supporting them, not the other way around. I guess it's both. They put out their, uh, they put out like a full playlist for content creators to use. Really fucking cool of them. Exactly the sort of folk that I love supporting. I think the Rimrock Knight's coming out. Can we get another whole nother booster out of this? Maybe the Shieldbreaker will be a sideboard card. Nice. I was just saying I didn't have enough one drops. There we go. So right now these cards are probably like the closest to not making it. Seeker might be a sideboard card. It's good. It's a good card for sure. The Splicer skill is kind of on the edge too. Ooh, Usher. Usher. And then there's a Lorehold Campus. Fuck. I think Usher is just like so good of a one drop that we gotta take it. it even spits out tokens, right, for the intangible virtue and stuff. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta take it over some fucking comes to play tap land. Just the battlefield, you and target opponent each draw a card. Interesting. I'm gonna grab Temporal for the sideboard. Best Savannah Alliance ever printed. It's fucking up there. It's up there. I don't think I would call it the best Savannah Alliance ever printed, though. That Ragavan card's pretty good. Interesting, Lost Man. There's it definitely like lowered diversity for a while.
but I've slowly been uh, been adding like more and more genres and artists and stuff. Hell of a pack. I think I'm gonna take the FTK. Oh, Crash is fantastic. Yeah, right now I'm mostly worried about my mana. I think we got a good deck here. Hell yeah, Lost Man. Hell yeah. Sure, why not, Hank? We can be all Savannah Lions on this fine day. I think I'd be like an 03 if I was a magic card. Not even one power. Well, I mean, this fucking... This armored, fully trained human soldier <laughs> has, has one power. We would not trade me and, the, me and this, uh, <laughs> this creature here. That would not happen. Orling Outburst is good too. I want the City Brass though. I really want slightly better mana. Did wheel that garrison, yeah. Wait, maybe not. Ooh, do we want triplicate spirits? Or do we want wool reaper? Or do I want mortar pod? I fucking love mortar pod. I think I want the triplicate spirits. Lightning strike, doom traveler. These are all awesome. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to build. I think Conclave comes out. I might be cutting Spectral. Could almost be Mono White. I think the I think like a red splash is pretty worth it though. Certainly just fucking died to this card. Just play 60 in my Boros Agra deck. Uh, that's an idea. are coming out. This 
So I kind of want to play 15 lands. Maybe we'll play 16 with the factory. And this is only seven red sources. And 11 white. Yeah, maybe play one more. Maybe Moto was right. 10 8. 10 8 feels. It feels worse. With like Spectral in here. Some good, uh, some good murdering cards here. Hopefully, we can get some tasty, taster, tasty murder going. on land, heavy on land, but we also have two four drops and a Mishra's Factory that we can like activate Usher on too. So I don't think I would keep very many four landers in this deck. Because we can mostly operate on two lands really well. But I think this hand's an exception. Yeah, I'm just gonna activate Usher. Blocker. See if this can combine with the spirit. I think I'm gonna cast it though. Yeah, ship them graves. I think. Put them degrees. Well, that was some good murder in. Let's run that shit back. Skyrim? Yeah, I never got into Skyrim. Or any of those games. Obviously, they're, like, wildly popular. I assume that if something is, like, wildly popular... And I'm just... And I just, like, don't get it, then it's, like, probably on me. They're probably, like, perfectly fine, perfectly well-made games. Excellent murder in me, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose. 
Sulp the Trooper. Gets in some Valium. So if we play out the Clarion Spirit here, then next turn we could play Mog War Marshal plus Law Keeper to trigger it. Meh. Death Touch Lifelink. Alright. APK Dash thinks 11 months. Two three is cheating. I agree. Oh, do I just trade? Sure, whatever. Should be trading the Thraven Inspector instead of the Flying Token, but whatever. Sultari. It's a tribe of shadow creatures. Wow, fuck that. Viking is cheating. I agree. I am the law. Wait, what did they just rebind? Was it some removal spell? Oh no, they re rebought their lifelinker. Cool. One's fine. No, <laughs> not my clue token. I'm clueless now. What is my rocks tab? Doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. Degrees. The six time was uncommon. It was always uncommon. I don't think it's ever been printed as not an uncommon.
Yeah, I think this is going to be my last League of the Night. Horror movie recommendations? What kind of horror movie are you looking for? I really like um, John Carpenter's The Mouth of Madness. He is keep sweet. It's got a few higher powered cards that get cut from uh, from some peasant cubes, but it's not like egregious. Pretty good balance between like good good new cards and good old cards. cycle another creature on me here and blow out this firebolt but I'm still getting a 1-1 out of it seems like a fine gamble to take the memory lapse suspension kind of makes me want to jam some historic might do that sometime in the next few days. We got a cube. I ran out the heel cutter here because I didn't expect it to resolve. Next turn I can lead on the- if I hit a land I can lead on the cavalier and then play the virtue afterwards. They're like close to getting an 8-8, right? Sure. Does Rorok just win? Eight in the air. Hillcutter makes it so one creature can't block. If they have a removal spell for the Hillcutter, it doesn't win though, right? Yeah, let's do like this virtue thing.
Ja. 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 Temporal isolation and solitary trooper are like kind of a non bow. I guess I could cut the trooper. Sure. Cool. I want to have an instant speed answer to their 88s. Or, like, if that two drop gets huge, that can be kind of obnoxious. I've come to inspect your Thrabens. Ah, yes. Some mighty fine Thrabens you have there. Wow, how condescending. You don't have to be rude about it. You ever play this card for zero just to get the scry two in? I've done that shit. Dream. If you kind of send for zero, the opponent can choose not to pay zero, yeah. That's a choice you have. It's not an intuitive choice. That's not something that people do very often. Okay, I don't know. Well, that looks great. They do have that counter unless you pay one card. I think that's okay. Not the end of the old world. Hey, Ninja Killer, thanks for the 29 months. Do I have any historical content planned? Uh, yeah. You're gonna miss Lark Combo? Yeah, right? I wonder, I wonder if I hadn't played that Lark combo deck in that one tournament, I wonder if they still would have banned Lark. I wonder if, if that was partially my bad. Like, it was a known combo before, but I don't think people were really, like, playing it on the ladder or anything. Like, I think people were, like, kind of ignoring it. They certainly didn't ban it for power reasons. <laughs> in their, in their write-up for the banning, they were like, 
yeah, it's a little too easy to draw with this card. <laughs> it's This card fucking sucks to play against. Not Revelark, no. Um, Dabriel. Dabriel got banned, essentially. Should I tap something? Probably. I'll tap this fucking thing. got trample friend not that it mattered I don't think they had a block to not die there sweet Boros aggro and doing some real nice murder in yeah our lane was open I suppose the one chatter who was really mad was wizard staff yeah I remember that <laughs> you're abusing an exploit nope not doing that you don't you don't have to like the combo friend, but that is uh that is not what this is. You happy about the trickery ban? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the bans were like for quality life. Quality of life as opposed to like pure like format warping or whatever. They're just like making the format more fun with the bans, which is I mean what what they should be doing, right? Yeah. Do I keep this fucking fire bolts? I think I've been in. You want miscalcan historic? What about days? Can can we get days into historic, please? The scourge of vaults everywhere. Get force of will, yeah! Force of will days, wasteland. Get them all up in that. I don't know if Memory Lapse was stronger. Yeah, I don't know if Memory Lapse was stronger necessarily than Counterspell would have been. I think that's a strong claim. It's a fine claim, it's not like outrageous or anything. It was certainly more fucking miserable though. <laughs> memory Lapse is way more miserable than Counterspell. From a gameplay perspective, Fuck memory lapse. A lot of times you don't give a shit. It just like gives you some, like more information about your next draw or whatever. And then there's other times where you like need to draw land and you like literally can't cast your spell because if they memory lapse you, you just fucking lose. That's a, some feel bad. That's some feel bad right there. Yeah, I thought about playing the, just like tapping out for the rocks veteran. I think this would be a would have been a reasonable turn for that too.
Top having an animation. Putting Top into his Historic and giving it some obnoxious animation. Oh my god. That's like some villain shit. Like if someone who hated magic players got put in charge of a... <laughs> of Historic. Some snidely whiplash ass. Fucking bowler cap monocle. Twirling mustachios. <laughs> yeah, let's add isolation over um, over the trooper again. You would love to see a top spinning when the opponent's like actually resolving it, like for the duration of the resolution. What if it was? What if it lasted a set time though? And it lasted longer than the resolution. Like once you resolve the top, then the top would like spin around the board or whatever. Or it could be like, you could put like a face on the top. It could be like clipping. Ask you how you're doing. Oh shit, what up? Have it spin onto the deck if you tap it? Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. I'm just like whoop. Hey son of Bonnet, thanks for the 24 months. Two more years. Two more years. Hell yeah. You forgot about Clippy? How can you forget about Clippy? There's a writer that has put quite a lot of uh, Clippy-based erotica onto um, Amazon. Self-published. Do with that information uh, what you will. Sky Marcher here. Chalk Tingle, you got it, Pi. Oh, man. A, f a fellow, a, f a fellow Tingle connoisseur. information is why you have the sound off. Your name is Naked Carpenter. Was I on the play? Did I keep a one-lander there? I've been live since the Twin Gauntlet, yeah. So if I really wanted to grow this monk, I could like Lightning Healing's face. I think it's better to get the factory down. I don't think you just like don't play the Doom Traveler. Yay! Yay, trophy, yay. <laughs> <laughs> 